I think the reform resurgence, to step back and look at it from 36,000 feet, really began on a popular level with Martin Lloyd-Jones and the establishment of Banner of Truth, which then came across the ocean. J.I. Packer in writing Knowing God, J.I. Packer writing The Sovereignty of God in Evangelism. That caught hold with a man named James Montgomery Boyce. Boyce began using these Banner of Truth books just in small group Bible study in his own church at 10th Presbyterian and then started the Philadelphia Conference on Reformed Theology. All throughout the 90s, Philadelphia Conference of Reformed Theology was really crucial where James Montgomery Boyce would have men like John MacArthur and St. Clair Ferguson speak on Reformed Theology. And he had a young friend who joined with him, R.C. Sproul. I remember when I was young uh, having to choose whether I would go to the Ligonier Conference or the Philadelphia Conference on Reformed Theology. It was out of those two conferences that much of what we see as the quote unquote new Calvinism today emerged. I really point the finger to James Montgomery Boyce and to R.C. Sproul to take the truth of Reformed theology, what we would call Calvinism, take it out of the ivory tower take it out of the seminary academic classroom and now bring it down to the level of lay people.